Welcome to task number three. We're going to make another game in this video and this one's going to be called Avoid the Fruit. Now we're going to start off just with our main character and a blank new scratch project and we're going to set our character to uh, 50 just so we've got a bit of room to play with and we're also going to set up a backdrop uh, that looks like this. Let's, um, let's just draw a line across the bottom did that work? I don't think it did. Let's try again. Ah, uh, it did. It just made a new backdrop. Okay, it doesn't seem to have worked. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's say five. There we go. That's not five. Let's go five again. Draw a line across the bottom. Nice. Okay. That seems to have kept the little mistake in, but that's fine. And I'm going to do also... Um, no, I won't do anything else. Just, just that line across the bottom. Cool. Now, like in the last tutorial, uh, you should make an intro screen uh, and an outro screen. I'm just going to be doing sort of the main bit of the game, but you should make all of it. So have an intro screen that says avoid the fruit and an outro screen that says game over or you win. And hopefully you don't have that little line glitch like I've got in mind. Now, the name of the game is Avoid the Fruit and it is gonna be exactly that. You've just gotta dodge the fruit. So we need our character to be able to move to begin with. So let's go and put that in. Um, to do it, we're gonna need that one. We're gonna need that one, that one, and that one there. And I'm just gonna Oops, not that one. I'm going to duplicate that, duplicate that. And remember, if I'm going too fast here, just pause the video, copy the code down, and then rewatch. So I'm going to go up, down, left, and right. And then under motion, we're going to go change Y by 10, change Y by 10, change X by 10, and change X by 10. And then the down arrow is negative. The left arrow is a negative. Awesome. Now, if you find your character isn't moving around like mine and it's you know sort of doing weird things, just double check that you actually did X's and Y's in the right place. Remember, this all works on an axis, just like you'd learn in maths, where Y is up and down and X is left and right. And if you go left, it's negative, and if you go down, it's negative. And if you go up, it's positive, and if you go right, it's positive. So that lets our character move around. Now. We don't really want the character to be able to run up here. We want to kind of lock him in down the bottom. So we're going to put a little bit of code in just for that to happen. So if you go to control, take another if and put it within this first one. So see under the change Y. Um, and what we want to say here is if touching the color, and I'm going to grab that tool there and go right in there. If touching that color black, we want to change y by negative 10. So now I can move around freely, but I can't go above that line. Oh, looks like I can kind of glitch my way. No, I can't. So now I'm stuck there. Cool. So that gives the character motion, but he's also trapped in that bottom area. So that's done. Now we're going to set up some falling fruit to uh, damage our character or maybe um, give him a score. So. Let's find some custom fruit. We'll go bananas and we'll go apples. And do they have any more in here? Um, I don't think they do. But let's actually go, let's go hearts as well. Hearts will be good. Now that's too big. Let's make hearts really small because we want that to be hard. Yep, hearts can be there. Apples are a little big. Let's go 80. And the bananas, these will be the. Um, painful ones if they hit us, go 80. So we've got all of our fruits and we've got a heart as well. Now we can probably do something cool and actually put hearts at the top to indicate how much life we have. Um, we might get to that, but let's get the falling fruit first. So we'll start with the bananas and we'll say that when the flag is clicked, we are going to go, we'll pick a random position. Now this random position goes anywhere, which we don't want. But we can use this one here, the go to, and under operators we can use the random position here, 
for the x. Now the reason we don't want the other one is we want to be able to set y always to this position here. So what is that? Y is 144. So we say 144. So whenever he starts, we want that to happen. And in fact, we're going to use some clones in this video just to make it uh, a little bit more challenging, but also give us a little bit more power. So if we go to uh, events, we can, sorry, if we do controls at the bottom, we'll say when flag is pushed, create a clone of myself. And we'll also use the when I start as a clone. Now we need to put a forever on there and we also need a wait on there. Otherwise it's going to be really quick just flying down. We'll say when we start as a clone, go to that position at the top. We'll say uh, move or we'll say change Y by negative 10 and we'll put a forever on that. We probably also want an if, if touching sprite one, which is our cat, if touching sprite one, then, and we'll also do another one of those, if touching edge, so if touching edge, we'll then say delete this clone delete this clone. Alright, shall we see if that works? So there's the banana falling. Now at the moment, he's not moving very far because it's only between 1 and 10, but if we make that, where's this? Negative 203 and positive 202 oops, 202 then now it should go all over the place. The other thing you want to do is just to get rid of that first banana. So we want to say a show in here and a hide here. Oops, wrong one. A hide here. There we go. So now you can see it's important we have that weight because if we don't have the weight, it's a little insane. There's bananas flowing everywhere. So we'll keep the weight in there. It makes it nice and easy. Now the cool thing was ma with making the code like this, which is fairly universal, is we can drag and drop it to say Apple, and that one there, and now when we start it again, you can see the Apple falls as well. Now it's not awesome, the Apple doesn't fall as fast, um, well on its own kind of pace, and that's because of the one second. So if we make it 1.1, you'll see now the Apple kind of does its own thing. But to give it more of its own kind of feel, we'll pick a, pick a random between 0 0.5 and 3. So now the apple just kind of comes out of nowhere, as you can see. And to make it even more fun, let's make the apple maybe 20. So the apple should fly. There we go. Cool. We'll do the same for the hearts, but we want the hearts to be a lot rarer. Let me drag and drop those in again, there and there, there we go. So the heart should start flowing down now as well, uh, the same pace as the apple, but we're going to make that uh, between, let's say 5 and 30. And we'll make the pace uh, maybe not as fast, maybe just 10. So they are possible to get, you just don't know when they're going to come. Because it could be all the way up to 30 seconds. In fact, I haven't seen one yet. Let's start again. There's one. Okay, so you can see your character needs to move around here. You want to collect the hearts. And you want to avoid the fruit. And we'll make, um, we'll make the hearts the positive score and the fruit the negative score. So let's go to variables and make a score here. Or we'll make it uh, health, and we'll make another one called score. And let's say, on the banana, say if touches the edge, it'll just delete it. If touching the sprite, we'll change health by negative one. So every time it hits the sprite, negative one. And that should be that. Let's do the same for the apple. If touching sprite, change health. Actually, let's make the apple negative two. So you really don't want to hit that apple. And then for the heart, we'll say change score by one. And then we also need to do, we'll do it on the actual main sprite. 
will say when the game starts set health to uh, 5 and set score to 0 okay so when we start our health is 5 and our score is 0 now let's see if one of those apples hits me you can see it's negative 2 if a banana hits me it is negative 1 oh, they're actually quite hard to avoid those apples you never know when they're going to appear the bananas are easy just waiting for a heart to appear now no hearts now we can definitely make this more challenging oh it's actually fairly challenging as it is where are these hearts come on there we go cool so that all works uh, to make it a bit more challenging what we could do is maybe say uh, it comes down a little quicker maybe at times or the longer the timer goes for the quicker it starts to fall uh, but that that's fairly hard or definitely when health equals zero it goes to game over uh, I'll show you how to do that code but I won't do the game over screen um, because we learned how to do it in the last one so that'll be up to you to implement that so if we go here and here zero so if health equals zero then it needs to go to a game over screen in here if health equals zero and maybe you could do the same with the score so you know how to do the rest um, it's up to you now to finish the rest of this uh, task i'll see you on the next one